Okay, hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to create a new page. So we're going to go to our dashboard and then go to Pages, Add New. Now the process for uh, adding a new page is somewhat similar to adding a new post. We want to put in a title. This is my first page. And I usually hit Save Draft once you hit the title. Now one interesting thing here for permalink, it will of course again take the title and make it your permalink. If you're still in draft mode and you change, this is my first best page, you change your title and then save draft again, it will actually update the permalink to that uh, same title. Now that changes though, if you go to publish it, then it will set your permalink and then if you go change the title it will keep the permalink the same that's after you publish so though you could always go in and edit but once you set a page and start using it for a certain address you should not really change it uh, because it will help your seo if you don't keep changing the links to your pages so let's go back to this is my first page i will save the draft and again you can go in here with your editor we can put text. We'll do heading one. Uh, first page of info. And you again can type in information. You can type in lists. You can type in texts. Uh, let's go to paragraph. Here is a sample paragraph that I am typing for you. And here is a numbered list. Uh, one, two, three, we can select these and then you can go in here and hit numbered and then they become a numbered list. And then if you want to get out, you hit it twice and then it knocks it out just like a regular word processor. Let's just, um, let's save this draft and then we'll also go in here and we'll make that bold. Okay. And we'll publish that. So this is our first page. We've published that in. If we click here and open and link a new tab, this is your first page. And there it is, first page of info. Here is a sample paragraph that I'm typing for you and our inf information. Now the thing about pages is pages can have a direct link and they're not included in the blog roll. So whereas posts, if you keep adding posts, now if we go back to the front of our page and we refresh it, You'll see if you scroll down, there's the post, second uh, post to blog, first post to blog. You know, those those are our posts uh, and they create that blog roll. But right in here with our page, and we'll go back now, we've updated it, just double check. And we'll go back to pages. Now we see this is my first page. And again, if we click on view and open, it's just the page. Um, but this page can be anything. This page could be an information page. It could be a squeeze page. It could be just a, uh, you know, a, a page of multiple pages that have information for a product that you're selling. Uh, so that, you know, you're, you're, you're limited only by your imagination. Now, most likely though, you will find that uh, using the WordPress uh, default editor for pages is a bit limiting and you will probably eventually uh, buy a plugin that is a page builder. Actually, one of the plugins that most people obsess about most and trying to figure out the best one, quote unquote best one, are page builders. And there are so many options out there. There are free options in the WordPress repository. There are also so many paid options. Um, in the IM industry, you have uh, InstaBuilder, two point, uh, the two-point version, 2.0. Um, you have uh, WP Profit Builder. Um, you have Thrive Themes, the Thrive Builder, uh, just to name a few. Uh, eventually, you'll probably get one of those or even one of the free ones. So chances are you probably will not spend too much time using the basic page builder in um, WordPress. But it's still good to know that it's here um, and how to use it in the basic terms so that you can create your own pages uh, like this. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.